Video 21 sees a complete engine rebuild, bolted up to the gearbox and ready to go in. Right, what's next? What parts go on next? <sighs> right folks, we're straight in with the thermostat gasket and then I give up on that quickly. Put the uh, temperature sender in, the rear uh, coolant takeoff, and then we're back on the thermostat housing. <laughs> Uh, gaskets on both top and bottom uh, it's a two-part thing this one and there's the top there goes the thermostat and then that all bolts down nicely and then there's a little housing on the side which translates the translates which takes the fluid from the uh, yeah out going out of the top of the engine and straight back into the water pump to circulate the fluid in the engine before the thermostat opens and allows it to go to the radiator so you can see that's tightened down I've got some nice genuine jubilee uh, clips to um, connect that hose as well this is the front engine hoisting point, and then the alternator bracket goes on down the bottom. It took me a long time to figure out which way it goes, <laughs> but there it is. Uh, then it's the rear hoisting, uh, lifting eye, if you like, or hoisting point. The front right engine mount, and then the left engine mount, there it goes. And I think at this point I've looked at the, <laughs> the crank and figured out it's got to come off again. I mentioned it in the last video, but this time I've protected the sump a little bit from paint damage. And uh, off it comes. There we go. And finally, I get these two bolts, uh, or more specifically the timing marker, in the right position. And the um, crank pulley can go back on. Alternator goes on. Yeah, I think this is the last time I do it now, but a lot of bolt heads and um, bits I've scratched and things on, along the way. Down the bottom there where I have to check the pulley off again. And the double check of the paint on the top. So it's going to look resplendent for the owner. <laughs> Back on goes the crank uh, pulley. And that is it. We can finally take the thing off the stand. Of course, there's still a manifold and so on to go. Um, but now I'm going to start working on the uh, the back end of the engine. So off comes the engine stand um, mount, if you like. Uh, and then it is on with what I'm calling the flywheel housing, I think, uh, which modern engines don't have. This is just the back of the engine on a modern engine. But So I've got those bolts in and talked them up. And look, there's a bolt missing. <laughs> now, I don't know when I do that bolt. We'll find out later in videos. But at some point... That bolt must go in because it's in there now. You see the one on the on the, the highest most bolt point. It's still accessible from the outside of the engine, so it's all right. But anyway, those are all talked up, and the flywheel is now on and talked up. And then I'm putting in some grease in the spigot, uh, ready for the gearbox to receive it. So on goes the clutch. Six bolts, very very loosely tightened. And this way, you can actually align the clutch nicely without a clutch alignment tool. You just look in there. You've got three circles to align. You've got the splines on the inside, you've got the spigot bearing, you can see right inside. And then you've got the um, the fingers, if you like, the thing which the clutch release bearing pushes against. And if you just get those concentric uh, before tightening down the clutch, it's nice and easy to do, really. You can, in fact, get it better than a, with a clutch alignment tool, because there's a bit of slop in a clutch alignment tool. Now it's time for the studs to go in, into that flywheel housing. Uh, so I'm just winding those in with the, with the mole grips loosely, but there's a bit of thread lock on them as well. Had a bit of trouble with the top one, but uh, we got there in the end. Uh, and those are uh, all in. So it is fast approaching time to get the gearbox ready. So here we go, a bit of a clean move, and then I'm going to have to put the um, the gearbox mounts on. So this uh, particular engine assembly, probably being a 4x4, has four mounting points rather than most uh, rear drive cars having three. So there's one on either side of the gearbox. So then goes a clutch release in the arm, a bit of grease here and there. That's a new clutch release bearing on there. And the first of the mounts. So this is the, let me think now, the back right mount. So it's got locking tabs, studs, and then nuts. So those are all tight. And this is the other side. You can see it a bit better over here. Uh, so the studs go in with some Loctite, just as I did on the flywheel housing. Yeah. And then the mount can go on, and then there's the locking tabs and the nuts. Wind those in, tighten them nicely, and then I can uh, bend those locking tabs down. Yeah, you can see here we go, attack it with a hammer. These took forever on this side, so I ended up getting the mole grips, and that worked a lot better. And then you can uh, finish them off. There we go, mole grips. Finish them off with a hammer. And the same on the right-hand side. And then I can lift that very heavy item with the crane <laughs> to meet the, gear, the the engine. So the engine's now on the floor protected uh, on top of a, um, a cloth, so as not to scratch my nice uh, newly painted sump. And the gearbox can come off the bench. <laughs> this is very exciting now. They're finally coming together. 
which is very cool. And of course, uh, as anyone who's done this knows, uh, the anticipation of will the clutch, <laughs> will it align, will the um, gearbox input go in there? Uh, and it did in this case, which was nice. <laughs> there we go, look at them two. They've been apart for a while. So that just went in there beautifully, no dramas at all. And then using a few of those studs, I, I wind it in. You can see there's a slight gap at the bottom and then um, just wind that in with a stud. And, and that's it, they are mated. it. So there's a lot of bolts to go, uh, a lot of nuts to go on there. And it's very nicely held together, this thing. You know, possibly excessively held together. <laughs> But that is it, an exciting moment to see the engine and the gearbox all brand new, basically, and uh, and ready to go in the car. I, mean, I had to struggle for ages to try and find the right balance point. I wanted the rear just to slope down slightly, not not too much, you know. But there's a lot of weight in the back there. Uh, eventually, I found this as a compromise and got all the bits out of the way. And I'm going to leave it there. What a tease. That is it. It completes the engine rebuild. We've got that lovely rebuilt gearbox bolted up next to it and it is hanging on the crane ready to go in thank you very much for watching this far those of you that have got this far i uh, hope you're still enjoying the series in the next video we get it in the car and we do a few finishing touches stay tuned bye for now